Hello everybody, this is Matt Bergman and I want to share with you how easy it is to use Drago. Uh, very first thing you'd want to do is sign up for an account and join for free and it gives you some information that you're going to have to plug in. After you do that, then what you'll need to do is get the actual Drago button, which is right here. You'll simply take that, and I'm just going to shift my screen here, you're going to take it and you're going to drag it on top of your browser to save to Drago. All right, then the next step would be, well, step three, okay? What you'll be given is you'll be given your own bookmarks page, which is right here. It's at drago.com slash and then your username. When you go to that account, It'll actually take you uh, to your actual main page, which looks like this. This is mine. I'm just starting out, so it isn't very populated. But you have these different links right here that are categorized. Like this is the tools and technology uh, section right here. That was actually given to me by default. There's travel, top internet sites, and sample news. And then you have other tabs as well. So if you wanted to keep tabs for personal use, tabs for financial use, tabs for school, you could do that. And you can create your own category by simply clicking on create category. And then I could type in, well, maybe I like web 2.0 sites. I'll just click on web 2.0 sites I'll hit save changes and then it'll put my own category right here if I want to edit some edit my tab the name of my tab right here I can click edit I can change that from tab 2 to school I can change the color I can make it public if I'd like so anybody who goes to drago.com and then my uh, username can actually access it so I'll make mine public and I like this a lot better than uh, Symbaloo, which I've used Symbaloo before, but this is one of the reasons why I like it better than Symbaloo. If you go to, say, usatoday.com, and I really like this, this site right here, I can click Save to Drago. When it does that, then I can add some news right here, so maybe this is a good news site uh, for me to use. And then I can either save it to my inbox, or I can save it into an existing category. So perhaps on my um, tab number one, I want to save it to some of the custom or default tab sections right here that they've given me. If you remember, I created the school tab, and maybe I want to create you know, the web 2.0 uh, tab. I can link that to that. Or I can save it to my inbox. So I'm going to save it to my inbox. I'll hit save. And when I do that, I go to, um, to Drago. Here it is. And then what I can then do is I can actually go and drag it into any one of my tabs. So if I like it, let's say I put it in the top internet sites and it goes right there. If I don't want it anymore, I can just drag it right into the trash can. So this is a great idea for you to use for any types of websites that you want to keep, any types of sites that you want to um, maintain. And uh, the best part is too, is it's very neat and clean because you can expand all, collapse all. Uh, you can expand or collapse just individual sites sections right here and you can keep everything organized. Hey, for any more ideas, you may want to visit my blog at bergman-udl.blogspot.com. It'll give you a variety of different web 2.0 materials that you can go over. Here was a previous version of my Drago post and other posts that may help you in your classroom.